Hi Taurus, welcome to your general reading. This is for the month of June 2023. Taurus, this is for Sun and Rising, Earth signs. So uh, let's get started with your reading. The energy around Taurus, please, for the month of June. For my Taurians, the Bull Gang. We have, what do you need to release? The Waning Moon. Okay. Some energy around this of uh, an energy release I'm, I'm getting that as a, as a like a letting out a, a, a sigh of relief let's take a look let's take a look at your spirit animal for the month of june for taurus please show me taurus's spirit animal for the month of june please spirit whoa the owl love that for you guys the owl is a very magical animal, isn't it? It's, there's a reason why it's in movies like Harry Potter. There's energy here of uh, knowing the truth, acting upon the truth, being very... Uh, when you look at, when you think of the owl, it has very long-range vision. So I'm seeing this as having long-range vision, looking and having insight into the future. So you may have a very strong... Um, sense of psychic uh, perception at the moment esp if you will uh, you can certainly see things you can see through things you may see uh, you may see people around you quite differently and there's an energy around this uh, release card of whatever whatever happened here it had to go in order to make room for something else okay all right so meeting your destiny i get meeting your destiny rising up meeting your destiny taurus wow let's see what's going on here for taurus for the month of june oh look at this we've got fun around you love that so getting out spending some time doing things in the in the sun in the summertime especially if you're in the, the northern hemisphere if you're in the southern hemisphere the weather's probably quite nice you're, you're out enjoying doing something fun let's see and one more message here before we get into the tarot for taurus for june peace yeah being at peace with the decision being at peace with letting go um there's a, a feeling here of well-being so let's see i'm going to do a few more shuffles i've already been meditating on these cards just a few more shuffles here for you Taurus loving this energy around you there's an owl on your shoulder wow. I love that you know you are an old soul a wise soul I'm getting that and isn't it time you had a little bit of fun yes I think that you've been working really hard tirelessly probably for a number of years so it's it's time to have a little bit of a break a little bit of fun here Taurus in the month of June and it's going to bring you a sense of peace and calm uh, let's see what's going on for my Taurians welcome of course to my podcast listeners on Apple Spotify Amazon music and to my people who are watching here on YouTube don't forget to press that thumbs up button guys thank you so much six of cups well look at that you know, fun with friends, with family, uh, perhaps reuniting with someone from the past as well. Maybe someone you haven't seen in a long time. Mm, nice. And we've got the Seven of Swords. Oh, okay, yeah, escape. It feels a little bit um, like you might feel a little bit guilty about, <laughs> about having this fun here, uh, Taurus. Now, why is that? Why feel? Why are you feeling guilty about having this fun? Perhaps you feel like, um, especially if this is a work situation, you may feel like uh, because you're not you're not in the workplace that there somebody else has to perhaps step up and fill your shoes. It may be that, but you know what? I'm just getting an energy here of um, escaping to have some fun. I get a little fun on the side. Oh gosh, what's that about, Taurus? Hopefully, it's <laughs> hopefully it's nothing too uh, 
uh, too drastic there, but I just feel it's, it's a sense of playfulness. You know, one thing that people miss when they see the Seven of Swords, a lot of people go to, oh, cheating, betrayal. Look at the sly grin on this guy's face. He, he's, he's doing, whatever he's doing here, he's doing with a, with a sense of mis mischievousness. I'm getting, I'm getting that. So there's mischief here. Uh, a little bit of mischief energy. Uh, I'm getting an image in my mind of the Cheshire Cat. Uh, okay. All right, let's see, Taurus. Mm, well, this is you here. The Hierophant. All right. Wow. You know, I'm just seeing this as this owl energy. Knowledge. Okay. I get the energy of you're doing this because you can. And you know, it, it seems like whatever you're doing here in June, you're doing it because you can and, you, and you're not kidding yourself, you're not fooling yourself. It is what it is. Okay. And with the chariot, wow. I think for a long time here, Taurus, you have been back and forth with doing this. I'm picking up a lot of fragmented energy. And there's a, there's a strong energy here of getting in control, being in control of your life, driving full steam ahead, uh, putting the, the, the pedal to the metal here and really just kind of deciding to do this because you can and because you're giving yourself permission. Okay. And with the death card in the reverse, I feel like you want to do it before the time is too late. It seems like you want to... I'm getting an energy here of, of going back to something, doing something before it's too late. I need to do this before it's too late. This might be my last opportunity. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and, and do this. It's my, it's my shot. I'm going to take it. The Nine of Cups in the reverse. Ooh, yeah. Not too much of a good thing, right? You're going off to do this thing, but uh, the energy that I'm picking up around you is there's a little bit of, I can have this for a time, but perhaps not forever. You're doing it because you can. You feel like you need to do it before your time is, is run out and you feel like you're not going to have it forever. Okay. Judgment. Yeah, for a lot of you, the, this is you making a decision to, uh, to reconcile with something, someone from the past or go back to a place or there's, there's some here where you, you want to backtrack. You're backing up the truck here and, you, and you're, you're going back to something for a time, but it may not be a long time. Okay. The two of pentacles in the reverse. So you've been weighing this up for a long time. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? And now you've decided. Now you've decided. Okay, so you're making the decision and it's it's going in the way of uh, freeing yourself from whatever was holding you back in the past whatever was blocking you you feel like okay i'm not gonna i'm i'm out of whatever was blocking me i'm now i'm now free you might have uh, you might have gotten out of a job perhaps a job was restricting you uh, perhaps uh, some of you have recently gotten out of a relationship and whatever you're freeing yourself from here, it's, it seems to be giving you the opportunity, the chance to go back and, and pick up something from the past, um, which you feel is going to be a lot of fun, and it probably is. You know? uh, something that you've wanted to do for a long period of time, whatever it is, I mean, it could be you want to go on vacation. Uh, perhaps you want to go re and revisit some place that, that you really had a great time with. I'm getting Las Vegas for some of you. I, I don't know why that's coming in. Um, 
perhaps it's if you if you don't live in the US perhaps you want to visit the US uh, some of you it's uh, you, you just Las Vegas is like the, a playground right so somewhere where you feel like you can play I get playground of the, the rich playground of the famous whatever that means to you guys and you're doing it because you're able to you have you, you've given yourself permission or you have permission I don't know what that's about. You have permission. Uh, you freed yourself from something that was restricting you from doing this. Wow, Taurus. Interesting energy. So release. You know, I was getting that energy release right at the beginning. I feel that whatever this is, this is it's something that you're going to do uh, to... to Yeah, to... Hmm. Well, <laughs> um, I mean, it's, some, it's like getting something out of your system. Uh, I feel like there's something that you need to get out. It's an energy release. You've got all of this pent up energy and you've probably been, you've probably been like a, a cat on a hot tin roof wondering what to do with this energy for maybe a while. Uh, I get, um, I get that it's perhaps it's overwhelmed you having all of this energy you've had this overwhelming feeling uh, you've been feeling very restless you've you've wanted to go and, and do this thing and you've like oh but I can't I can't and then all of a sudden you, you seem to be able to do it and there's this this massive sigh of relief of like I can do this you know um, you could stop thinking about it stop um, stop going backwards and forwards in your mind and and be at peace with making a choice making a decision to to go and do this while you can something that um, you feel like if you do this whatever you you're releasing is going to be okay perhaps that's the thing that was blocking you you felt like you couldn't do this because you felt like you had obligations duties um, whatever you were leaving going to have to leave behind or release um, needed you it may have been the job but now you can go off and do this because you feel that whatever you're leaving behind or releasing is going to be okay you can breathe deeply and a sigh of relief that everything is all all is well in in with people around you all all is well in the universe and you can go off and and do this this thing finally yeah um for some of you it, it may have just been a restriction in the world you know something in your country that was restricting you perhaps it was even COVID. Uh, whatever it was i get that the, you have been restricted from going out and doing this in the recent past but now you're not and now you you have the chance to escape and go off and have this bit of fun and, and spirit is saying yeah um why not <laughs> taurus what on earth okay hopefully uh it probably won't resonate with you as you're watching this at the beginning of the month or some of you it might be but uh yeah, I get, I get you being taking a, a journey for some of you it's uh, via well it could be any kind of craft really but it feels like something fast moving something that gets you there quickly all right okay let's see and you feel it's going to be an energy release what is the most limiting belief keeping me from what I want right now? Well, it seems like whatever it is, you're letting it go. So it may have been something that was in your own mind, a story that you were telling yourself when you thought about your dreams. It may have been that limiting thought that always kept coming into your mind. If you're not living the life you desire, it's because a part of you doesn't believe it's possible. Yeah. Well, now I feel that you're coming to, to the realization that it is possible. But you still think that, oh, well, it's possible for a time, but maybe I can't have it forever. Okay. So I'm getting that for, for certain Taurians out there, that you think, yes, I can have this for a time, but perhaps I can't have it forever. But Spirit is saying, well, why not? The energy around you here for June, Taurus, is one of 
looking belief in the eye looking your, your belief about your, your own limitations in the eye and, and where did those limitations come from I get you replacing those limiting beliefs with um, new beliefs putting in its place positive thoughts you know instead of saying I can't you're going to say yes I can but again I get this energy of you think well yeah I can I can do this but I also get this this strange energy of <clears throat> Still, there's this backwards and forwards energy. Like you may go and do this thing you want and then go back, back to this limiting belief again before you fully release yourself. Okay, so there may be a bit of to and froing here. There may be a bit of coming backwards and forwards until you can fully release yourself. Or perhaps you just need to go and try this once to see if it's for you. And with that knowledge, you can decide whether or not you want it full time or just for a short time. I'm also getting that. So what new belief are you ready to adopt in place of the old limitations around yourself? This will change the results of your life. Remember, your belief is the root of your result. Own it, heal it, upgrade it. Oh, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there for you guys. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. I thank you so much for watching. Oh, you can go to my Etsy store too and purchase directly there. The link is down below. Gypsy Insights Tarot. And thank you to my podcast listeners on Apple, Amazon, Spotify. For those of my YouTube viewers, don't forget to press that thumbs up button before you go. Share me on your social media, especially if you know a tourist who will resonate with this. And if you're a newcomer, I would love to have you subscribe. Thank you, Taurus. Please take care and bye for now.